no. So, this video is going to be the do's and don'ts of facial piercings. Yay! Um, I have my fan on over there, so if you can hear that, I'm sure you can. I'm sorry. I don't have plugs in right now, so just, just don't just don't look at that. Okay. Um. So this video is gonna be do's and don'ts of facial piercings, like these kind of. Um, the care of them goes for like tongue piercings and like anything inside your mouth too. But some of the stuff doesn't apply to them, obviously, as you'll notice when I'm saying them. Um, I wrote stuff down, so if I'm like looking down or something a lot, that's why. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the don'ts first and then the do's. Some of them are pretty obvious, but some people don't know that even no matter how obvious they are, so I'm just going to say them anyway. Um, this might not be everything. I'm not, like, a professional or anything, but I am pretty educated on it because I want to be a body piercer, hopefully, some day. All right, let's go. Okay. Well, okay. Um, anything, like any of these, they take six to eight weeks to heal. Um... I've run into people that think they take a week to heal. Uh, they think that when like the swelling goes down and like it's not red anymore and it's not sore, they'll be like, oh, it's healed. But no, it's not. It's just that it's not swollen anymore or anything like that. It takes like a few months to heal. Trust me. Okay. Okay, um, when you're getting, when you get it done, you should not take anything, like, any kind of pills, like, um, what's the name of it, ibuprofen or anything, you shouldn't do any of that, you shouldn't, like, smoke a joint, and you shouldn't drink alcohol, and the reason for this is because that all of those things thin your blood, so when you get pierced, you'll bleed a lot more. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't pick at the crust or scabs that form on them because it can lead to infections and excess scar tissue or lumps. Um, you shouldn't really touch it a lot or play with it or chew on it because there's like bacteria on your hands and stuff, obviously, and it'll get infected. And uh, chewing on it, that's bad for your teeth, um, it can take enamel off, or it can, like, wear your teeth down, which nobody wants that, I would hope. Um, you shouldn't use alcohol mouthwash, like, mouthwash with alcohol in it, you need to get alcohol-free mouthwash, and it will clearly say on the bottle, alcohol free. Um, I went with my friend a few days ago, and she got her Monroe done. And she was using, like, alcohol mouthwash. And her, um, her lip got really, uh, what's the word? Irritated. <laughs> Sorry. It's like 5, 4 in the morning right now, so I'm making this. But her lip got really irritated, and it got all swollen, and I was like, well, what have you, what have you been doing? And she's like, oh, I was using... I was using alcohol mouthwash because we didn't have any alcohol free and she was like it says if it's alcohol free right and I was like yeah yeah it does <laughs> I use um Listerine Zero when I get piercings uh, you shouldn't change your jewelry that's kinda obvious some people like to get it done and then like two days later they're like oh I'm gonna change it and, no don't do that That's mm. Not good. Um, you shouldn't, uh, for the first month, you shouldn't kiss anybody, like, like, tongue kiss them. You can, like, mwah, but you can't, like, blah, blah, blah. yeah, you can't use your, 
because, um, what's it called? Your, uh, your body it has, like, um, I think they're called antibodies or something. They, like, fight off germs. So your, your body is, like, hmm, when you get an open wound, somebody else's germs get in it, and, like, your, your body doesn't know what to do with that. So, yeah, you'll get a really bad infection if you make out with somebody. Don't do it. Okay, and now the do's. Ugh. When, um, when you get it done, you should just take it and, like, twist it like this. Just so it doesn't get, like, too tight on it. Because it'll get, like, super tight on the bar. And it'll, like, it'll hurt and get, like, stuck like that. So you need to twist it. Um, clean it after you do anything. Like, if you eat something, you have to, like, rinse your mouth out with mouthwash. If you drink anything besides water, you have to rinse out your mouth. If you smoke a cigarette, you have to rinse out your mouth. So that, yeah. Um, if it gets swollen, you should use Epsom salt. Um... Epsom salt is stronger than, like, regular salt, so it cleans better, and it, like, it'll help it heal faster. Uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know how to word it. It helps it, like, tighten up. Yeah, I don't know how to describe that, but... <laughs> um... You should wait six months to change your jewelry, because like I said, it doesn't heal in like a week. It takes like a few months to heal, but you should wait six months to change the jewelry. Um, when you get it pierced, they give you a longer bar than the standard one because of swelling. If they put a tight one in and it swells up, it's going to get really irritated and, like, it's going to be too tight. So, they give you a longer one. After a week, I believe, like, 7 to 10 days, you go back to your piercer and he can change it to a smaller one. But, that's it. You can't, don't change it yourself. You should not try and do that yourself. Um, use salt water on it. Um, I have a how to clean your piercing video, like your infected piercing video. Um, I'll put it in the description. You should check that out. That's what you do. You clean the outside with like salt water and then the inside with mouthwash. Or you can um, like swish the salt water around in your mouth too. Um, oh, you can use saline solution on them instead of salt if you want because that works the same. And Saline solution is gentler if you have, like, sensitiveness or something. Oh, and when they heal, they make, uh, they have, like, two different kinds of bars. They have bars with, like, metal backs, and then they have ones with, like, plasticky, rubbery backs. Hold on. I'm going to show you one. If I have any in my little thing over here. I don't think I do. I have them in my other thing, but I can show you mine. You can see it. Nope. Yeah, see how that's like a, a metal back? They have ones that have plastic ones, which you should get because the metal ones... Um, they wear your gums up or down or whatever. Um, I used to wear them like these kind in here. I'm just going to show you. They did wear down my gums a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Yeah, you can tell. Like right here and right here. Like right there, you can tell. So, yeah, you should get the plastic ones. They're a lot better for your teeth and stuff. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. 
Um, yeah. Bye.